Star. And she's built Canna Montana into a big time business that made her $25 million last year alone. Now she's taken on the movie. And she just barely turned 16. Hannah Montana the movie is all about Miley's TV alter ego. Who's known as Miley Stewart when she's not in Hannah Montana rock star mode. In Hannah Montana the movie, my character has always had the best of both worlds, but she'll have to choose just one. But even though the movie Miley needs a lesson on keeping it real, you're saying I can never be Hannah again? Think of it as a Hannah detox. The real Miley Cyrus is completely down to earth and amazingly talented. I saw that up close and in person when I worked with Miley on Hannah Montana, the movie. Do you know who I am? Well, I know you know who I am. We both got to act like out of control Hollywood stars. And when I told people in my family that I was thinking about doing this movie, they were like, what? You have to, you have to, you have to. Well, that part was a little scary. But it was still all fun. Yes. And I got to meet some of her family, her mama and even her grandmama. Just like me, Miley likes to jump right in and get involved in everything she can. She's definitely not afraid to get her hands dirty. People say, I'm a mogul. Well, Miss Miley is a billion dollar business. And she's only 16. Outfit. We were just taking some pictures backstage that you guys are going to see at the commercial breaks, and I love. It. I think you look so hot. Thanks. I got to do my model shots with you. You know, the smile with the eyes and yes. all. So that was cool. Very and actually, nice. you know, Emily really is my best friend in real life, and we showed up in almost the exact same thing, only different colors. And we were like, that shows that you truly are best friends when you show up in the. Yeah. You know, a designer throws stuff at us all the time, and we show up in the same outfit. The same stuff. For you guys who don't know, Emily, um, she plays Miley's best friend on the TV show and in the movie, and they're best friends in real life. Now. You are an industry. You are like billion dollars making money for yourself and a lot of other people. But you seem so like normal. Like we're hanging out in the movie and you're like, oh my God, she threw the shoe and it accidentally hit somebody on set and you ran over to them and you're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And you went to go get them water and you're just like, you know, and the director's like, we gotta go. And you're like, no, but if the shoe will like hit I'm him. like, I'm, I'm definitely careful, you know, because we, we did all our own stunts in there and I wanted to make sure you were cool with that and you were, you know, you were making sure I was cool with that. And it's just like respect for people on the set, you know. Yeah. Because you definitely want to be, you want to have a happy sex. I think that's the whole, the worst thing in the world is when you walk in, and everyone's yelling at each other. It just really is. It's such a cold set, and our set was not like that at all. It was yeah. so like warm and bubbly, and and always giving hugs and loving on each other. So it was awesome. Yeah, but I think it's deeper than just a happy set with you. I think you're a good person. I think you have I a good so. spirit. I hope no, so. No, I really do. And to like have all this success and to be like, she's normal. She just happens to be a trillionaire. Uh -huh. But like you're really, really normal. I have to admit, I love hanging out with your family and your mama and your daddy and your grandmama. And then on the set of the movie, my, mo my mom thing. and my grandma are like the coolest. They're so you know, always cool. around. And your grandmama, she is always done. Hair is always like very teased yes. and like mascara and like. She is very, she's a lot like me. She's a very like loyal person, so no lie, she went to the same hair person in Kentucky for like 40 years, then the same person in Nashville, now she has someone she drives like an hour away in California to get her hair done, and that, she's, I've never seen her without makeup, she'll like wash her face real quick and then totally redone again, and she, she will look at me and be like, you going out girl, you need a little blush <laughs> a little or blush. something, I'm like, gosh mammy, I'm like, let me just be, you know, is that what you call her, it. mammy? Mammy. Mammy. Yeah, because we, my mom wanted me to call her mamma when I was little, my, my big sister, uh -huh. and uh, she couldn't say mamma, so we just called her Mammy. Well, I have to I have to tell you, I'm an honorary Knowles with like the Knowles family, yes. like Beyonce and all of them, and I want to be an honorary Cyrus. Oh, cool. You know what? That's what I think is the best thing is like Beyonce, they always keep in the family. You know, I think that's the coolest thing. That's what we Join the family. Okay, cool. So I, I um, read some of your book and I read that you were bullied yeah. when you were in school with some girls. Yeah. What type of bullying was it? What they do? I was definitely, I, I think I was one of those kids that um, 
I think I, I, I kind of thought everything, I played everything down, you know, like, oh, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then really when I look back on it now, I'm like, I really wish I would have said something earlier mm -hmm. because it probably wouldn't have gotten to the extent that I would. I wouldn't have been in my book. I talk about being locked in a bathroom for hours and not knowing how to get out. They locked and, in a bathroom. Yeah. And like being scared every day. And now I, I'm like, you know, I don't get the opportunity to go to a real school. I'm mm -hmm. homeschooled. And I'm like, I wish I could have enjoyed the time that I did have in the school. Why do you think they were doing that? Honestly, with my dad growing up, it was always really hard, and most people, I think, would kind of, like, resent that and be like, you know, Dad, you made it really hard for me to grow up. But for me, I thank my dad because he made me stronger as a person. And now, with the media trying to tear me down and message boards, I don't really care because I picture each photographer that I see stepping outside my house as one of those girls. Mm. And I just really say, you know, that's something that I don't want to get involved with because soon enough it'll be the equivalent to being locked in the bathroom where there's I don't ever get privacy or they're trying to make me look like a bad person because I know that I'm not and so I know you, that I have good values. I like the connection of the paparazzi with, with the, bullies. the bullies at school. Yeah. Okay, what are those girls doing now? Have you run into them anywhere? Oh, I don't know. And someone asked me if I wanted to go back to school and see them, and I was like, no, thank you, because I just don't <laughs> even want to give them the time, thank you very much, because they don't deserve it. And I'm doing great, and I have probably more friends than they'll ever have. Yeah. It's true. It's true. And you know, the sad thing is with that is with the bullies and stuff, they'll see you now and pretend like they were they're, your best friend. Friends. Exactly. Oh my God! And they're showing their friends pictures of you with them and saying how close you guys were. I remember when I was in school, they had this picture of me that was seriously the worst picture of me you've ever seen. I was always really little, mm -hmm. and I remember going to the gym one day, and we all had to get weighed. Which, first of all, I just don't like that. Anyways, I don't think you should have to be weighed in front of your peers. Yeah. And it's I just because it makes girls uncomfortable. And I was always smaller than everyone else. And I remember them being like, "Oh, she's so small." You know, I think that's when it really was like we can get her type thing. Mm -hmm. And there was this picture of me where I was just like so little and I was standing next to them and you could really see the contrast and they had it on their binder every day and was like showing me the picture of us standing beside each other trying to scare me and when you really look at it it really is scary you know scary thought it's scary well I have a message for you guys the girls that used to bully Miley ha ha she's a millionaire <laughs> okay <laughs> we're gonna have much more with Miley Cyrus after this we'll be right Next, Miley answers some unusual questions. What is the one skill your fans would be shocked to know that you could do? They like wash my arm. If anything bad happens, I can always be in a circus. <laughs> and later